All right, some breaking news right now. We are getting reports of a 4.8 magnitude earthquake in New Jersey this morning. According to the USGA, this thing shook at around 9.23 a.m., so about 10 or so minutes ago. People certainly felt it, including my colleague, News Nation anchor, Connell McShane. Connell's joining us on the phone. Uh, Connell, good morning to you. What were you doing? How'd it feel? Well, I was sitting in my office at the News Nation uh, newsroom in New York, and we certainly felt it for, you know, upwards of 20 seconds, I would say. And we looked around and were wondering what it was. And I got a text from my wife, who's out on Long Island, and she said, Did you, was that an earthquake? Did you feel anything? And then we knew that must be something other than, you know, just construction in our building or something like that. So we're outside now in the corner of 42nd Street and 2nd Avenue in New York. And, you know, people walking by and everybody looking at each other asking, was that an earthquake? We're not used to this kind of thing around here. Did you feel it? That type of thing. Somebody coming off the bus a moment ago said they were driving across town in Manhattan and, and felt the entire bus shake for a matter of time. So, you know, 4.8 magnitude earthquake might not be a, such a big deal out in California or somewhere like that, but it's a very big deal. And it's uh, not something we're, we're used to here in, in New York at all. So to your point, Marty, uh, apparently the epicenter was out in New Jersey, but it was felt here in Midtown Manhattan. I can tell you it was felt on Long Island as well. So there we go, an earthquake in New York. Yeah, I mean, wow. So Lebanon, New Jersey looks like where the epicenter is. Um, rare, right? But earthquakes have happened in this area before. There is a fault line, as I'm reading, Connell, in yeah. Sussex County. Um, how much shaking was there? I mean, is this the type of shaking where the lights are moving back and forth, or was it a light rumble? I mean, what, what did you notice? I think it was just a little bit above what you would describe as a light rumble. I mean, the building uh, was definitely shaking. The ground we were on was enough that you know, we're used to having in a big office building some sort of construction going on, which I think is what many of us thought it was at first, somebody uh, drilling into a wall or something like that. But it was more sustained than that. So after it lasted for more than a few minutes, again, we all started walking around and looking at each other and saying, what was that? And then somebody said, was that an earthquake? And then the text started coming in. I said one from my wife. Somebody else got a text from a colleague or a friend in New Jersey, and they, they had felt it as well. So once we knew that it had spread beyond where we were, in midtown Manhattan, we knew there was something more to it. Now, that said, here, uh, you know, late on a Friday morning in the middle of Manhattan, things couldn't be uh, more normal if you tried. The traffic is heavy. Uh, you know, Second Avenue is still blocked up. There's, uh, it's tough making a right turn from 42nd Street as I'm watching a big truck do that right now. And, and people are pretty much walking around like it was normal. But for a few minutes there, you had a lot of looks. Stop people in New York, which it takes a lot, stopping in their tracks and looking around and looking at each other and saying, did we just have an earthquake? And now we know the answer is yes. Yeah, no, I mean, it's just wild. I'm looking at some reports right now, Connell. The Fire Department of New York said that there are at least are no initial reports of damage, which is yeah. good news. So you hope that also as a result, no reports of any injuries or anybody getting hurt. But yeah, I can, I can imagine everybody looks around and goes, what the heck was that? Um, you have to con be concerned about the skyscrapers, the structures. Yes. Was the building evacuated? I mean, what what do you do after that happens? Well, I don't know that uh, our building, as far as I know, was not. Like I said, a few of us are outside now. We we're trying to talk to people and see what other people have felt. I'm looking now west on Manhattan, uh, on 42nd Street in Manhattan, at the famous Chrysler building, which is... Um, just to my right. And, you know, everything looks normal. I would say the one thing, and, and you brought this up, Marty, that we'll look out for, and I don't see any evidence of this yet, there's so much scaffolding in the city right now, and there has been for years, there's so much construction going on in so many of these buildings that you worry about something falling, you worry about the structure of those scaffolds maybe hitting somebody and being certainly a danger with so many pedestrians walking by. So that's the one thing I would say, that this was probably strong enough, just speculating now, to have knocked loose something that may have been loose already. So I'd be worried about that. But if you're not seeing any reports of it yet, and, you know, from my eyes, just looking around at the few blocks that I can see, I don't see any visible damage. But that would be the one thing you'd worry about, even just to my uh, right as I look south now on 2nd Avenue, there's a big scaffolding structure on a building that's so common when they do construction in Manhattan. And, you know, you'd, you'd worry about either something falling from above or, again, just the scaffolds themselves or the, or the temporary structures themselves um, 
to not being able to withstand something like that. But again, so far, so good. We'll look out for more reports. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.